Hey Virgos, it's Jamie Seaver 23. I'm doing your weekly spread for the week of April 19th, 2021 for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. This is your weekly spread. Um, this may or may not resonate and that's okay. So let's see what the energies are. Um, if you're on here looking for the Taurus video, I do not do Taurus videos anymore. Um, the reasoning is in the, you better scroll down and, and see the two videos I posted if you want to know the answer why. So anyway, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cross watchers. Let's see what's up, my Virgos. Okay, choices, choices, choices. So here's what's up. So I do feel like there could be a loss coming in very, very quickly. And this could have to do with a marriage being severed, or this could have to do with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. I also feel like this could have to do with a Taurus. This could also have to do with an Aries. Um, there could be a loss coming in. The loss could possibly be like, okay, if you want to break up, if you want to leave the relationship, you leave with nothing type of an energy. So for some of you, maybe somebody's giving you an ultimatum. Sure, you, we can break up. Sure, we can get divorced. But, you know, you leave with nothing. Um... So I feel like for some of you, you have to make a decision on that. I also feel like for some of you, there may be a judge deciding your fate. Um, deciding what meditation music, deciding whether or not like um, the kids stay with you, uh, whether you're going to get child support, alimony, whether you're going to get this or that, whether you're going to get assistance. There's somebody that's in charge of deciding that it's out of your hands. It's legal. It's a judge. It's somebody else. Now let's talk about something else. Some of you are fighting to get money. You're fighting to get what's yours. Maybe some of you are building an empire and you feel like you deserve a lot more than what you're getting. You feel like you deserve more recognition. You feel like you deserve more time. It looks like you're going to be getting that here very, very soon. I also feel like for some of you, um, matriarch, patriarch. There could be a matriarch or a patriarch struggling. Could be struggling with health. Could be struggling with finances. Could be struggling with life, with, with depression. I'm picking up stronger... Um, more of, more of a health issue. So this could be a mom, a dad, a grandma, a grandpa, um, maybe a sister or brother that raised you. It's a matriarch, patriarch type energy. Um, they're struggling. They'll be fine, but they're struggling. Yeah. Just stay prayed up. Okay, so I want to say something, but I don't want to upset anybody. I feel like somebody has, and I mean, I guess it's the good thing. This isn't so bad. You know, it's a good attitude to have, but somebody's like, you know what? If I go today, I'm fine. I feel like I've lived my life long enough. I feel like, uh, you know, I accomplished what I want. I feel like, you know, my grandkids or my kids, they're, they're strong enough to make it alone. You know, I've, I've, done, I've done my job. If, if I go today, I'm okay with that. So somebody's no longer fighting. So who has ever got this health problem, they're not fighting anymore. They're just like, ah, if it's my time, I'll take it. Take it or leave it. I'm, I'm, I'll take it if it's my time. I'll go. But I feel like, you know, huh. and I'm sure people get offended by everything I say. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, that's really fucking selfish. <laughs> just because just cause somebody knows how to read and write, maybe drive a car and maybe balance a checkbook doesn't mean that they're ready to lose their matriarch or their patriarch so i think that's kind of like a selfish energy like what about the people you're leaving behind okay but anyway i don't see anybody going out the door but i do feel like somebody's in a mode of yeah either way i'm good so just for whoever that's for i didn't want to say it but when spirit keeps putting it in me, in my head in my head i have to spit these things out you know i don't I don't like delivering bad news. I really, believe it or not, I don't. Okay, so now, so we got the eight. Uh, we got the ace of pentacles and the eight of wands. So that's money coming in fast. Money coming in fast. Maybe money from before. Money you should have received already. Maybe money from karma that you never. Maybe you got good karma, and due to that good karma, you got money coming in. Um, I do feel like with all of this good energy coming, you know, you got to take the good with the bad. Yeah, eights are karma. You got two eights here, and then a nine. So it's time to pay up. So yeah, it's pay, it's pay up time. And then we got a lot of fives here. Okay. 
Yeah, it's time to pay up. Yeah, so it looks like some of you, yeah, you, you guys have something coming your way, whether this is an opportunity, whether this is money, whether this is good luck, you got an opportunity. But some of you do need to be aware of a um, spiritual attack. You know, you guys need to defend yourselves against whoever the psychopath is. So somebody's going to see all the good things unfolding for you and they're not going to be happy about it. This could even be a spouse. I, I, getting strong energy of like a spouse, a lover, a scorned lover. Let's say you guys were never married to this person and this person still is like, well, I, I don't want to see you happy. If you're not going to be with me, then you can just be miserable. Like, you know, you can't go, you can't move on and live happily ever after. I'm not letting that crap happen. Are you kidding me over my dead body? So I feel like Virgo, just protect yourself from a hater. It looks like an ex, you know, this could even just be somebody who's secretly in love with you and they're mad that you're moving on, that you're finding someone good, that your life is getting better. They just don't like it. All right, my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers, if you've ordered a $10 one question, one answer via email only or a same day reading and you've not heard from me within about 45 minutes, feel free to email me to let me know so I can hurry up and answer your questions, hurry up and do your readings. Also, the reading special is still going on for a few more hours on jamiezebra23.com. Reading specials are done in 7 to 10 days after purchase. If you don't want to wait 7 to 10 days after purchase for your reading special, you can always order a same-day reading, which is done the same day, or you can order a regular reading, which is done in 24 to 72 hours after purchase. Also, um, I've got a second tarot card channel. It's Jamie Zebra 23 chat. If you guys want to go over there, like, share, subscribe, and comment, that would be super-duper lovely. And, and... I got to do Gemini. I got to do Gemini. I skipped Gemini. Okay. Um, also, I'm available 365 days a year, seven days a week. That includes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all holidays, every day. Yep, yep. JamieZebra23.com. So you had the Five of Swords that was just here, and now you got the Ten of Wands. So for some of you, you will be taking care of burden, getting rid of burden, uh, covering burden, burying burden. So some of you have skeletons in your closet. You're going to be um, kind of like hiding them. Uh, sweeping things under the rug and it looks like maybe some of you are really you know you're really taking care of things on a on a very uh, thorough basis maybe you're cleaning your houses maybe you're um, making something right where there was something wrong you're making it right maybe you're coming to, to terms with something accepting something um, not accepting something walking away either way you're taking out the trash whichever way you can All right, so that was your reading for the week. Have an amazing week, my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers.